learnings. Uh, this session we have the speaker Angela Jaho, Director International Program ASU for Digital Arizona and the Arizona State University. And we have Ashok Kumar, founder of Muni International School, so India's indigenous story. And Dr. Chandrika Bahadur, uh, the Chandrika Bahadur is Director of SDG Academy, United Nations Sustainable Development Solution Network. And uh, Dr. N.C. Patak is a secretary of the Board of School Education Uttarakhand and the Professor Pranati Panda, the professor and head of the Department of School and Non-Formal Education, National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration, Delhi. So now we invite uh, Angela from the Arizona. Uh, this is midnight there, 11 uh, p.m. And uh, I'm sure, sure that Angela is there. And uh, we run a uh, US high school diploma dual program in India for Indian student. And uh, she is the director of uh, that ASU high school diploma. Is Angela, are you there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So Angela, go ahead. I was on mute for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah so go ahead. a little late here. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for having me here, Varentra. And this has been such a great um, learning experience for myself. Um, and, you know, obviously for the organization I large. Uh, my name is Angela Zhao. I am the director for international programs here at ASU Prep Digital. Um, I'm actually no longer located in Arizona. I, I moved to Oregon. Um, okay. So it's Northwestern, so my, the time is, uh, it works out pretty well. Um, I have a short presentation, so I'm just going to go ahead, but, you know, thank you guys for being here, and, you know, I know it's it's such an honor, um, so I just, I don't want to um, waste too much time, so we're going to uh, play the slideshow. So, you know, from from the conversation that, that we've been having today, um, I realized that all of us are really trying to maximize the opportunity that we have at hand, which is pretty amazing, right? Um, we're, we're resilient in a way that, you know, even in the face of a global pandemic, we're still, um, you know, kind of reviving and reforming and, you know, evolving education system, especially in India, um, which was a, actually a huge year last year for, for you guys. Um, so, you know, I, I really want to share some experience in maximizing learning. Um, and this learning really, I think it's created by different ways that we have um, school children, right? Um, you know, ASU Prep Digital is a K through five, a K through twelve um, institution that's embedded within the university. Um, you know, three years ago, it was such a new concept; no one had done it before. Uh, but now, you know, in different conferences that I have attended, a lot of universities in the US are thinking about integrating K, K through 12 into uh, the uh, university system so that you can leverage the resources in such a huge way for um, to improve student learning. So this is really about creating access to exceptional learning experience with ASU Prep Digital. The elements, what are we thinking that is most important, right? I think the, the previous speakers have touched up on this as well. Um, we think about curriculum, we think about content, we think about instruction, which are our teachers, right, our instructors. Um, and we think about technology more so last year, it really um, pushed us to a, a completely new degree, right? A new level of utilizing technology to disperse almost and deliver content. Um, to our learners wherever they are, right? So this motion of meeting the learners where they are um, physically, that had really happened last year and it really transformed education in such a huge way globally. So what is the ideal situation, right? The ideal situation is you will have world-class curriculum right, that levels you out with all the best of the best, right. Um, so we work with some schools in India um, that are more international schools, right. So they charge a little bit more and the students get access to so many different things. Um, and the curriculum is international based. So you know, ideally, the students will be getting world class curriculum from these schools, right. So so that when they graduate, they can level 
their ability and their understanding and their knowledge level with those that graduated from top institutions, whether it's in the UK or in the US or where, wherever. We want engaging content, right? We want the students to be able to interact with the content so that this is not just myself sitting in front of a computer. This is, you know, a conversation, right? And we learn that way by having these interactions, right? What else do we need? We need top instructional support, meaning that, you know, the best teachers in the world, where are they? How are they teaching the students? Um, you know, how are they utilizing content and materials around them to actually um, integrate that into a learning experience? And how are they designing and building these learning experiences to produce the best students around the world, right? We want to empower learning with technology. Who are the best ed tech companies today that can actually give students what they need, right? I think everybody is kind of on overdrive last year to produce um, something immediately. And, and this is completely understandable because we definitely need to, you know, not have that learning loss um, presented. So we, we were all struggling to keep everything on track and you know keeping some normalcy for, for students and at the schools. But it is very difficult without technology or without access to, to good te technology, right? So if we had all of this, right? Does that create a better future for education? And does that create a better future for learners? Well, maybe it does. Let's take a look at how ASU Prep Digital is doing this. ASU Prep Digital expands and extends the reach of Arizona State University and provides an inclusive pathway for students to succeed in high school, enter college, prepare for careers, and begin successful lives. ASU Prep Digital offers a unique high school program tailored to each student where they set their own program and goals with the support of personal success coaches. Students move through courses at their own pace with ongoing interactive assessments that evaluate mastery and then adjust to suit the needs of every learner. ASU Prep Digital provides a rigorous and engaging experience for students here in Arizona, across the country and around the world. Those kids that are high achieving or those kids that are low performing never really get the attention that they need in order to advance. We've found over the years that if a student has a personalized education where the teacher can actually meet them where they are and take them where they need to be, the kids discover that they are learners. The program's technology and tailored content allow the teacher to support multiple kids all doing different individual activities simultaneously. In our environment, we are constantly tasked with rethinking, redesigning, reflecting on what it is that we're implementing today to ensure that it's going to continue to be relevant and applicable to what a student needs for tomorrow. So a lot of our education is organized around these silos, chemistry, biology, physics, math, uh, and there's good historical reasons for that. But the questions that really drive us, the questions that most people care about, don't fit in those silos. What we're really looking to do is build a continuum of an educational experience for learners. We're hoping to expose our kids very early in their high school career to different career paths. The courses unfold in sections, each bookended by the interactive assessments. Each ASU Prep Digital student will learn at their ideal pace. The program allows students to skip sections that are too easy or retake sections that may be more individually challenging. The courses themselves are filled with compelling content and real-world imagery that relates to the student's environment. Virtual reality experiences will open up worlds like Thomas Edison's lab, the vastness of space, or depth of the oceans, and will bring historical events to life. It is this richness of content and the expanded choices for students that make ASU Prep Digital unique. These kind of learning experiences are not a competitor for the existing learning. They're not a low quality, cheap version of learning. This is the future of learning. We need more people to realize that. Students are supported by learning success coaches that monitor the student's progress, provide academic support, and keep the student on track. They have opportunities for online collaboration and video interaction with their teachers and coaches. 
at Arizona State University. Our charter is to measure ourselves not by who we exclude, but by who we include and how they succeed. When we think about success, success will be about how we can include students, how we can personalize an educational experience, how we can design an experience for specific communities. How can we do things differently in a way that will improve lives, improve the future for ourselves, for our kids? Taking a guess at what that could be and going out and trying to make it happen. And just like a scientist does, we see if it works or doesn't. We get, get information. We, we try something, does it work, does it not? And then we adjust and, and we're, we're testing our hypothesis and then revising as we go. It's inherently an act of creative imagination. That's what ASU Prep Digital is. A program that personalizes education based on the unique needs and abilities of every student. It's a school that balances human support with sophisticated technology. ASU Prep Digital is preparing students for college, for careers, and for life. So I think obviously the the you know the video says way better than than I could describe what this experience could be for the students, and you know I'm not presenting ASU Prep Digital as the solution um, for all of you around the room. I think it's part of the solution, and it's always been a part of the solution. It is a very integrated model from day one. Um, as you can see from this chart, we are part of we're, we're the goal old circle on the bottom here. We're actually part of an ecosystem that's created by Arizona State University. So we're able to actually leverage university resources to provide students with the best of the best, whether it is the curriculum or content. Um, we're committed to remove artificial, uh, artificial barriers. Um, and that means physical locations, right? What if the students couldn't get to the classes that they need to get to? that means shortage, teacher shortages, right? We, we're all experiencing that around the world. That means demographic, right? It doesn't matter where you came from, you should have the opportunities to learn. So a lot of these artificial barriers that we have created um, in, you know, inside within that education system that we've had for so long, right? I, I know India is um, revamping it, but we've had this for so long and it's gonna take time to remove these artificial barriers. But one of the things that we know we can do is to utilize technology and give access to students, right? To give the access to end users so that they have a chance and opportunity to learn. We partner with the best at tech companies. As you saw in the video, there are VR experiences. There are so many different things for students to actually engage and interact. Their assessments are not based on a test score. It's actually based on their participation and their understanding of the materials and their knowledge level. So it's, it creates really a personalized experience. And it's not bad if you're a little bit behind, nobody's gonna compare you to the person sitting next to you, right? This is really just about student success and student learning experience. We offer turnkey solutions for schools. If you want to have just ASU Prep Digital content, the best of contents, we can give you that. If you want ASU Prep Digital teachers, we can give you that. As Varentra mentioned, if you want an ASU Prep Digital diploma, we can even give you that. So there are so many different ways for us to work together. One of the things about curriculum, and, and I think a lot of us are talking about this today, is how do we innovate curriculum that has been embedded in our heads for so long, right? We all came from very traditional education systems. Well, one of the things that we are doing it is to allow students to learn at their own pace. Um, we have found that students can be a lot more successful if they have access to the materials, but they can schedule their own study time, right? So this actually, of course, exploded during the pandemic because a lot of the students are forced to be online, but this actually of attending college because they're no longer seeing study as something that they have to do, but it's something that they want to do, right? We actually design pathways like you see in this graph here. We design specific pathways for students to follow so that they can actually go to college. They can get connected to college earlier on in their um, 
middle school through high school career so that they have they can develop on the interest areas and they can actually advance to a college level right um, we actually challenge the students to actually break the artificial uh, barriers on their own um, for in this particular case in the graph this student um, is actually going to uh, engineering degree. So he started to take college courses from ninth grade on. So, you know, the, this is a lot of integration that happens with the university, but that allows the students to develop and further develop and advance on the interest level to develop that passion for learning and then get to college and they will have an easier time to acclimate themselves into a college environment in order to be more successful. So, you know, one of the things that I think that slide had a little bit of an issue, but um, one of the things that I wanted to mention here is that, you know, our students actually tells the story, right? Um, I'm going to find the video. Um, so here is uh, one of the students that we have at ASU Prep Digital. My name is Hannah Stewart. I am a recent graduate of ASU Prep Digital, and I spent three years as a full-time student at the school starting in fall of 2017. I live in Jeju Si, South Korea. My family moved abroad when I was 11 years old to Macau. Um, and since then, I have lived in Hong Kong, uh, South Korea. The amount of traveling and moving I did while abroad um, really made ASU Prep Digital perfect for me since I spent so much time just on the go, um, on a different time zone, and needing something that was a lot more flexible. I was also able to work ahead um, and finish a four-year curriculum in three years and also just be able to take my time with certain things. Um, for example, if I was traveling, I would be able to not work for a week whenever I wanted to, regardless of if it was on break or not. So um, that's something very different for physical schools is being able to take your breaks when you need to um, and being able to work ahead. Concurrent class is basically an ASU course um, that gives you both college and high school credit. So I've taken a total of 28 credit hours through ASU um, while I was in high school. And honestly, I am so grateful for the opportunity to have done so. I feel like it really prepared me for college classes. Additionally, being able to take so many credit hours has really put me ahead. Um, I've completed a bunch of my gen eds. I'll be able to do a double major um, when I start university because of the classes that I've taken. The benefits of going to ASU Prep Digital have been immeasurable. The, the flexibility, the ability to graduate early, the ability to take college courses, and the ability to connect with students even in an online environment have all been amazing parts of ASU Prep Digital. So that really um, sums it up and it ends my presentation. Um, I, I, you know, I'm welcome uh, questions. I put my email here. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, I, I talk to Varencha, um regularly, so you can also ask him as well. But, you know, we're, we're definitely looking to partner with everyone and connecting